Hey, good morning, parents. Mr. Romero, your principal. You know, I was driving by the school this weekend on Saturday morning and uh, uh, right around 10 o'clock, 10.30, and uh, I noticed a bunch of students out in front of the school cleaning up, gardening, pulling weeds, sweeping le uh, uh, trash, picking up trash and all that kind of stuff. You know, and I just want to say it, made, it, it warmed my heart because, you know, um, a lot of you know we only have one gardener in this entire school and for that one gardener to do the entire school is impossible it takes a community it truly does and when i saw people out there cutting and cleaning and all that kind of stuff it just made me so proud you know and you think about this we have one custodian during the day also and i see students all the time picking up trash throwing their trash away something as simple as that is uh is just the right thing to do and i and i want to tell you as a principal here i appreciate appreciate those of you who take care of our school do the right thing you know one thing I taught my kids when they were little was uh, um, don't ever say that's not my job you know and I, and I learned that from my dad my dad would always tell me if there's something needs to be done I can never say to him that's not my job well I learned that, I taught my own kids that, they know that, that it's all of our jobs to pick up our trash, do the right thing, hold the door open for someone, and just be kind people. So uh, those of you barons out there doing the right thing, I appreciate you and I just wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, lastly, I wanna just say, we got a student that graduated uh, 2018, her name is Aja Kachowski. She just qualified yesterday. She just qualified for the Paris 2024 Olympics in rowing. What an amazing kid. She graduated. She went to this school. She went to Stanford and she, she uh, was on the rowing team. All those great things. Well, she just qualified yesterday for the Olympic rowing team. And she's going to go to Paris and she's going to represent not only the United States, but she's going to represent Bonita Vista High School because she is a Baron. She was a Baron. And uh, I'm going to try to bring her off, on, bring her to, on campus so she can uh, speak to some of our students. So that's really something to be proud of. Uh, so with that, there's so much going on here, so much great things going on at school. You guys stay focused, work hard, do the right thing, and make it a great day living the Baron way. Welcome back to our broadcast after spring break. Today is April 8th, 2024. We're getting really close to the end of the year. We only have around two months left. Those will go by super fast. I know, Nat. Before we know it, we'll be on summer break. Although it may be scary what the future holds for us, Barons, we should remember to live in the moment. That's right, Nat. Seniors, your time here is almost up, so let's make the most of our time together. For today's broadcast, we'll be talking about the choices list and Saturday school. Next, we will interview this week's teacher highlight. Then we'll talk about the upcoming CAST exam for juniors. Finally, we will end the broadcast with some words of wisdom. You know, Ian, I heard there were so many people on the choices list, they ran out of paper. I heard that too, Nat. Almost 80% of students are on it. That's not good. If seniors want to attend prom, they can't be on the choices list. Let's go to your video to tell us more about how to get off the list. Hey, Barons. I'm Ian Martinez, and today we're going to interview a member of the ASB to learn more about Saturday School. Today, we're interviewing Alana Shaft. Alana Shaft is a member of the ASB Student Council. Alana says that Saturday school is a good opportunity to make up tardies and absences, as well as work and other opportunities that are not available during normal school hours. In Saturday school, you have more time and an opportunity to communicate better with the teachers in order to better understand the material. Saturday school starts at 8 and ends at 12 o'clock p.m. So Saturday school is a good way to get off the choices list and attend things like prom or more, um, obviously on Saturdays. And you can also get community service with uh, the things like campus cleanup and stuff like that. Back to the studio, Barons. Thank you for the information. It was a great reminder to attend Saturday school for all of us, especially after a break, it's time to get back into routine. But I'm glad to be back at school. I miss my friends so much over break. Did you? Obviously, 
but I hung out with them a few times. But I did miss my teachers. Oh, that's right. Speaking of teachers, we have our teacher highlight. On to you guys. Hey, Barons, it's Parvin. And today, I'm in front of the nurse's office where we're going to be interviewing our school nurse. My name is Bernadette Kern, a nurse here at Benita Vista High School. She has been working here for the past three years. And according to her, she loves doing her job. I've been here almost three years. And what's your uh, job here at Benita? I'm the school nurse. I first priority is taking care of the students here who are coming in and sick, but we have other job duties, the district nurses um, checking immunizations, um, doing uh, hearing vision screenings. Uh, that's just a, a couple of things mm. on a daily basis. Do you enjoy your job as a school nurse? I love it. <laughs> I think it's good to know that there's someone who will help us out in case of any emergencies regarding our health at school. <clears throat> well, that's all from us, Barons. Now back to the studio. Congratulations. Thank you for being a part of the Bonita family and being a great nurse. We appreciate you. But you know what I don't appreciate, Ian? What's that? The CASP exam. No! But I know our juniors are strong and smart. They'll do amazing. Definitely. They'll still need a lot of support and motivation, though. Maybe our quote of the day will give them some early motivation. Miguel and Anthony, on to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Miguel, and today I'll be interviewing one of our teachers for quote of the day. My name is Professor Roberto Pirazzini, or Prof. I teach Italian at Benita Vista High School. My quote of the day is my favorite quote. It's by Mark Twain, and it goes, Travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness and many of our people need it solely on these accounts. What does that mean? To me, it means to get out there and see the world and see that, you know, there's, there's life beyond here in San Diego and to get out there and travel. And, you know, you realize that everyone, doesn't matter where you live, everyone's the same. Everyone wants the same thing in life. We want to have friends. We want to be loved. And just to get out there and, and open your minds and, and see what else is out there. Oh, it's going to be all for me. Anchors, what do you think? Do you think traveling is important to have broader views on our opinions? It's going to be all for me. Now, back to the studio. Thank you, Miguel and Anthony, for the quote of the day. Well, that just inspired me to end the school year strong. Exactly. I hope that inspires you, Barons, to keep working hard to the end of the school year. Continue to achieve your bearing greatness this semester. It's been fun, but it's time to wrap up. It's Ian and Natalie signing, signing off. off.